Hello guys, welcome to Photographics Academy. Alright, so today I'm going to be giving you a walkthrough on how you can retouch this amazing image using flat done for you retouch action. Everything we'll be doing will be done, will be done with this done for you retouch action. This image was submitted by Skynet Photography, just the way it's spelled, Skynet Photography. Shout out to Skynet Photography. Okay, so let's get started immediately. The first thing I'm going to do is to zoom in to know if there are blemishes I need to remove, just a very tiny one. So I'll just tap here, tap here, tap here. Just quickly to get my image prepared for retouching. So I think I'm good. I'm good. Every other one done for you will take care of it. So the next thing I want to do is to fix the eye. So I'm going to go to my eye whitening. Play it. And boom. Working. Okay, so I'll just quickly clean this. So um, the color grading we'll be using in this particular video will be given to you for free. So all you need to do is to watch through this video to get to the to get the password or your zip file. Yeah, so we'll be color grading the, the picture live here. Then after that, we'll be saving it out as a lot. That will become a bonus tip for you and you can use it in your own works as well. Okay, so I think we're cool with the eyes. So all we need to do is reduce the opacity, open up the groups and find exactly where the blue stuff is. So I think it's the channel mixer that is giving us the blue color in the eyes. So I'm going to reduce that. But if it good, if it suits in well with your workflow, that's nice. That's nice to use. So I think I like it like this. I will flatten that and we will get to work. So I'm going to play our done for you touch action. So I'm going to place it somewhere around two. Let's see how well that does it. Um, okay, so the work is done. Let's zoom in and see. So this is before. This is after, this is before, this is after. So we'll just zoom in. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to quickly open up the shadows down here. So I'm going to just tap on my shadows and it opens up, press OK. So we already have a very nice, amazing image. The next thing I want to do is to do auto skin tone correction. So we'll have a seamless skin tone across the image. Useful. So I'm going to delete this mask and create one new mask. So if you feel like it's spilling on the places you do not want it, or there are places that it's not touching properly, like under here, you can just pick up your brush and paint it in. So if you feel like it's on your hair, you can also remove them. I think I like what I have, so I'm going to stick to this. Flatten it one more time. So we'll be color grading the image manually right here. So the first thing I want to do is probably go to our color balance and check out the color grading technique we are going to use. So just move sliders to see exactly what gives us a very rich skin tone. So we'll try our highlights as well. Add a little green to the highlight here. You can decide to warm it up. You can decide to cool it down. I think somewhere around here is cool. Decide if you add if you want to add red or you want to do a lot of cyan. So it depends on the look you are going for. I think I like this one. So we'll try it again for the shadows. Just slightly like this. Yeah, so I'll be for after. So we'll go to our selective color and do just one one or two adjustments right there on our skin tone. Should be at zero. So go into the red, move it this way, move it this way. So I think a little red won't be bad. Move this this way, move this this way. A little of this won't be bad as well. So just move sliders to check exactly where it works perfectly for us. Let's just add a little more contrast. 
So let's try grouping the two of them together. Let's see what it gives. So this was the image. Nearly we finished our auto skin tone correction. And this is the image with the color grading. Without much work, we've been able to create an amazing, an amazing color grade. So the next bonus tip I talked to you about is to export these two layers as a lot. How do you do that? Just select the two layers, go to your edit, go to export, go to export, rather go to file, go to export, go to color lookup tables. So you're going to make sure that you are selecting 3DL and make sure that your grid point is low. Make sure your, your quality is a medium, press OK. Then select a folder you would want to save the lot. And so let me, let me just put it here. Maybe I'll call it like, since it's sky already. So we'll just call it sky. And we press OK. So it will save. Our lot is saved. So let's hide this and load the lot. Let's see if it works. Come on, look up tables. So we're actually in the folder. So you are going to remember we saved as 3DL. So you come to this area and change it to 3DL and it will nearly appear. You press load and it will work on your image. So this is it. This is the lot we just created. This is the group. So exactly the same thing, no difference. So like I said, you will be getting access to this particular lot for free. All you need to do is just use the password in the video and you will have access to it. Isn't this amazing? Isn't this amazing? So I think I noticed one more thing I needed to do. Add a little lightning to this part of the arm. Just a little. Just increase this a little. Press Ctrl I and use your brush to paint it. Just like that. Yeah, before or after. Maybe like that bit up a little more. We are good to go. The job is done. So the last thing we want to do is to bring in a lot of details into our shot. And to do that, you come to your sharpening option, press sharpen. It's going to immediately restore the details in the image and give you something amazing to work with. Beautiful. Okay, so let's zoom in and look at the texture. So look at it. This is before. This is after. See the way the textures are jumping out. Just reduce it a little and you are good to go. Thank you for watching this amazing video. Do make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video. Thank you.